Joining me now is Melissa Armo, founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh. Uh, Melissa, welcome to the program. Good to, thanks for having me. Good to be here. So, so how long can the markets go over, you know, down over the coronavirus? How low will they go as investors seem to be in this prolonged panic? Well, if we hold here where we rallied today into the close, that would be great going into next week. But unfortunately, because there is pretty much hysteria out there right now. I mean, this is pure panic selling that we saw this week in the market. And we don't know when it's going to end. There was just some breaking news in the last hour that there's three more cases today out in California. And they don't know how people are contracting it. So I think it's scary for people. And it's more of a question of sell now, ask questions later. So the market could definitely go lower. And personally, when we fell to start the week, I thought there was a chance we could halt. But as the week went on and the sell-off on Tuesday, it just escalated every single night, really overnight. And we opened lower this morning, even though we rallied. Right. But is this the kind of correction that the markets needed anyway? I mean, you hate to have it happen because of a coronavirus, but the markets were due for some sort of, of, of redirection, right? Well, I think President Trump would like the markets to never fall. <laughs> I mean, the markets have had a great start to the year before this. If you look at the first eight weeks of the year, the first seven weeks of the year before this week, we were rallying and making new highs almost every day, which we did in 2019. We've had such a huge move. So we're still very, very bullish. I will say that. Is it a point for people to buy yet? I would say not necessarily. I'd be very cautious here because we still could be lower. And right now, the Fed came out that, I mean, there's news that maybe they're going to drop rates now in the next three months. So that would be good. That would help support the market. But Goldman Sachs came out today and said that they don't see any earnings growth for this year. I think people are, they're, again, they're just being very, very cautious about what's going to happen because some people are expecting that this could escalate and become a worldwide epidemic. And I think the problem is, one, they don't have a vaccine, and two, no sure. one's really ready for this. I mean, they're having trouble even people getting masks. All right. right. Well, let's hope people stop panicking and just hold tight and see how this shakes out. Founder and owner of the Stock Swoosh, Melissa Armo, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right. Coming up.